they killed him uh, and they hanged him. From Iran, the only rule for, for a homosexual in Iran is the death penalty. That's the only thing you can get. You might get lucky a few times, but it depends on the judge. If the judge they follow the rule of Islam. I came to the UK about four years ago as an asylum seeker, and then I've been waiting for over four years now for the decision. Hello, this is Ronti. You're listening to Everybody Loves Flamenco Music. I'm presenting a flamenco show. And this is El Faruka from Prakopeni. I don't think I'm, I'm dangerous for society. I'm, I don't harm anybody. But we get executed for who we are. The government tried to kill me and my boyfriend. I escaped um, from Iran, but they uh, arrested him um, because we were, we were living in the same flat. After two years, they killed him uh, and they hanged him because he didn't say anything about you. And they do these things, uh, most of them, um, for gay people. They hang the people um, by rope in, front, in the public area. Ali is actually my first gay friend, you know, after my boyfriend. Uh, I, I haven't, uh, I hadn't met any openly gay man in Iran. The government they never let his family go and visit him. Just contact and, and say what happened to him. <laughs> Something happened to me and my boyfriend. He got arrested and I had to leave the country because uh, my presence could put his life and my life in danger. Very risky because we were in military service. And uh, we have two armies in Iran, which is one of them is uh, like a normal army. The other one is very religious army. Uh, during the investigation, they found out about our relationship and they told us him, uh, who's the other guy? We need to see him. He said, no, such a person doesn't exist. That was the time, the only thing I knew, and I had to leave. Well, I was a music teacher. I had most of my income out of my teaching. Sometimes gigs or playing uh, mostly private concerts. People say, oh, it's really good when you play music, you forget about everything. But there are some facts that I cannot ever forget. I knew he got lashed and he was in prison for a few months. They kept asking him about our relationship or about me. But uh, he, he said that, that he denied everything, he didn't say anything about it. After torturing him again and again, he just tell uh, my name and uh, my name is very quickly um, the government put on the blacklist. That's why I coming out um, from Iran illegally because I couldn't uh, use my own passport. They knew my name and uh, they tried to find me where am I and it means uh, if they found me um, they want to hang me with my boyfriend. I thought uh, he's coming out and after that, uh, when I be a citizen here, I will try to come and bring him here. But everything's ruined and my dream, all my dream comes, goes out. I'm hoping, like everybody, be able to, to make my own life here, get more involved with society, have my, like, a normal life. They said, we believe you're gay. But we don't believe that there is, uh, your life is in danger. You can go back home and leave. Just keep quiet, don't tell it to anybody.
but uh, still the government, if they found out um, someone gay or lesbian, they will uh, arrest and kill. The rules is the same. They never change. Ali, me, and actually two more friends. We started our Iranian gay organization. It's such a release, you know, you, you feel really comfortable, you can speak about everything, you can speak about your emotions, speak about your love, how you left your partner, you left your home, you left everything behind, actually. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you just say, I don't believe you again. Yeah. So you've got two bigger problems. First, you have to prove you can. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you have to prove your life is mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, mine is half a break. Other people came to England and then lying to home office we are gay. But home office must be believed this one, must be believed this one for uh, right people. In home office I'm just a reference number. And I know they know about me that I'm genuinely an asylum seeker who came here because of his sexual origin. But still, they don't. They hesitate to give me my status. I don't know why. Feel free. I can go for shopping uh, outside. They accept me, and they um, send for me a letter as a permanent stating here. You can stay forever, and I was very, very happy, and still very happy because I'm living here and go everywhere that I want, but um, in Iran it was very terrible, it was because I, I always feeling if I go outside people can find out um, I'm gay and then maybe government arrest me, but in here nothing just like this happened to me, I feel free. <laughs> I was born in the wrong place and they don't understand. They just keep telling me, you can't go back home, you can't go back home. But I've never been at home. There was no home for me. This is my home. They just punish you for something which is God's will. Well, I was born gay, so I can't change it. I can't do anything. That's who I am and, and, and I think I was born and I deserve to have an ordinary life like other people. They get executed in Iran. Well, this is true that it doesn't happen to every single gay man, but it can happen to anybody and it includes me as well. So I cannot take a risk. It's not, it's not losing my guitar, it's my life. I cannot get it back. <laughs>